Baseball season, my friend. Where's your hat? You don't love your team, do you? <laughs> no, I just have hair. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're old. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Red Studios. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram and Twitter from all Tuesday content. It's so juicy. And pay more so on Patreon. Follow on Twitter, Twitter, Ring the bell, and follow the notification squad. Patreon, like what? Broke my larynx and then forgot what you were doing. Rewind. Today. We rack into a video. No, I'm not. I'm just going to sit here and stare at the Since we will be in India soon. We will? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe we uh, hardly came back. Who knows? Actually, it was just a big joke, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. April Fools. <laughs> Anyways, but this is called the right way to eat Indian food. I thought we already know how you do that. Naan and rice. It's pretty clear. Exactly. Uh, obviously, Rick's been to India, and we know we've heard and stuff, but this was suggested to us. This she had, looks like she has a. I think it's called a thali, right? I don't know. I think when you have a bunch of different stuff, I don't know what I, that's called. I think it's called a thali. Um, but, uh, here we go. Stop eating it wrong. Okay, we'll see. Something tells me that I should be eating this like a taco. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ate the rice with the naan. They love it when you do that. Hey, this is my head here. You right now at what's in New York. Let me teach you how to- New York! Authentic Indian food. Yeah, Mike. What is my experience eating Indian food? I've had Indian buffet two, three times before in my life. Mostly when Indian I buffet. Niagara Falls. I know that there's what nine. Isn't paneer something too? I remember the first time I had Indian food. The first thing I thought was, wow, this tastes like absolutely nothing I've ever consumed before. I usually ask for a fork and knife. I don't. I'm... Go ahead, X me. Holly, Holly the blend of spices and Dolly. every single thing has different spices. Every region in India has different types of food. Basically what we have over here is typically from Rice. the state Gujarat, the west side of India. <gasps> oh, yes. <laughs> wow. I would not know how to These eat that. Nuts. They look like the ones kind of that are sold on the street. But it's probably not that. Guacamole, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Start from here, it's a chana masala. They have one of beans with tomato onion and coriander. This machia, steamed with flour, spinach. Do they have a lot of onions in India? Uh huh. And and yeah. A ragna mm. paris, parado cutlet with white beans, some bean and packs of coriander on it. Save curry, fried breast, some more spice, more fried, more some yoga, some beans on it. But mm. on the us, fried parado and sometimes mm -hmm. a bunch of cream or wheat flour mm. cake. And the long one is the fried pepper, so it can be spicy at times. Start from this dipping sauce, the green one and the red one. That's it's the basically for the finger foods, which we have. Okay, so that's you can bring in your green dipping sauce. You can put it in your plate. So dip, if you dip, 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 dip. Some of the See that, Corbin Miles? I can dip. Oh, by your hand. I've dipped this, things before. It's like a plantain, but I, I don't. Plantain? Think it's a plantain. It would probably be good. Put some of this tamarind stuff. <laughs> It's not tamarind, it's, it's mango, mango pickle, <gasps> and none of this has tamarind. Trying all this pickle with this, yeah, it was wrong. Oh, this looks fine. You don't use spoon in this samosas, patata vada. What if I want to use a spoon? Uh, put something in your plate, and you use your hand. So just essentially. Yeah, and then you have it. That's There's people that eat pizza with a fork, you can't tell people how to eat. <laughs> yeah, I have a, when this is over, I have a question about this. So you don't want to combine two points of samosas. What you want to do is like have a bit of spicy first, or you can have sweet. Mm -hmm. Start from here. It's a lentil soup. Next is ghee, the sweet ghee, the chole, chickpeas with gravy, cauliflower mm. with green peas, margarine, finished with corn. That's what I don't like. Stuff, but I don't want to make a gravy. Stuff on your fingers. And Ugh. next with this mango pulse. And this is basically the roti. Well, uh, it's a wheat bread which is flat. Papa is what comes in a complimentary. So what we do is we just pull it, fold it. Looks like a tortilla. Just push it. Just one thing. Yeah, very much. I don't know how close a uh, roti is to a tortilla. Now see, this is the stuff that I'm not sure what this is. This kind of this has like the consistency of soup. 
everything you get in big quantities so everyone can have it in case if your friends are sitting by this is basically the khichdi the next to it is yogurt soup this and this yogurt the combination soup? you can try and then it's kind of the same thing then you'll put yeah. that in and just and you can mix it with your hand oh yeah yeah so there you, go. you combine wow you mix no. it you, you can flatten it out you know heck yeah yeah no problem <sighs> so these Thin thin hair, really, and you need you need thin hair. <laughs> if you try with this, it's a thin lengthy wafer. Uh-huh. It's just a complementary fork. The main thing over here is a complementary fork. Is that what he said? This uh, all yeah, I guess. Thing. So use this to dip into all of that. I can't yeah. hear him just very well. Yeah, he needs a mic. Okay. And, and he you needs some coffee. Great, a pilot. <laughs> just, Sorry. Just a spin it with cone where you can pinch. Pinch. It's not a small amount. A bigger one. Pinch That's bigger. Yeah. All right. Pinch bigger. Yeah. Mm. There you go. There you go. Have it. Oh. I remember when I was I a kid. I that with naan and butter and chicken flat. My hand. What was wrong with you? Use your utensils. <laughs> All these years later, I'm using my hands again. <laughs> Interesting. What? You don't need other foods with your hands that exist? Okay. You see, here's the thing. There's a difference between eating with your hands and then eating with your hands. Uh, <laughs> do tell. Pizza. I've e- I've eaten plenty of stuff with my hands. Pizza you eat with your hands, of course. Hamburgers, but Hot you dogs. don't normally end up get having goop on your hands. You, you do it if you eat it right. I don't think that's correct. Pizza? Pizza can get messy. What about, you? Say, I know you won't do this, but like, that's basically like- What about when you're eating like barbecue ribs? I that's gonna get all over you. That should be a freaking I don't like experience. I don't like barbecue. That ribs. should be on your elbows and like your nipples. That's all over you. I don't like it. Oh man, I slather that all over me. Um, but like, it's, it's essentially like, I obviously, if there's something on my hand, I'll wipe it off and that's fine. But like what they're eating, it's essentially to me, like if I had oatmeal and I was like, okay, now I'm going to eat this with my hand. Mm-hmm. And then I have oatmeal all over my hands and I'm like, here, Rick, eat, eat the oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what, it's not like I've never eaten a hot dog with my hands before. No, I understand what you're saying. And this falls back into, it's interesting, because you have a texture thing, not just with your mouth, but with your hands. It's the whole, what it feels like on the tips of your fingers. Yeah. Because yeah, the food, chips, french fries, hot dogs, yeah. hamburgers, pizza, chicken wings, there's all a, of those there's a bunch of stuff pretty non-messy there. finger things that you can just hold. Mm-hmm. They have like, they're, they're self-contained. Yes. Versus eating things like you wouldn't, Take some. Gu- you wouldn't take a chip and some guacamole and eat the chip and then do yeah. that with the guacamole. Yeah. So yeah. like what they're doing is like mixing rice with the with some form of curry. I'm I'm, I'm assuming, and then like and then they're eating it. I I, I can't do that. <laughs> it grows. Now here's the, the, the seeing it on their hands disgusts me. Yeah. See, it doesn't bother me. And I actually <laughs> I actually I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. Enjoyed. You're more than welcome to do it. Yeah, I actually enjoyed. It was a really neat experience. I like feeling the textual rice with the sauces in it and, and eating it off the hands was, for me, quite enjoyable. My son likes that, but he's three months old. Yeah, well, uh, it's, a, it's a very passionate, human, earthy, I just, I loved it. Uh, um, I have no here, doubt, but don't be alarmed when I break out my fork. Now, here, here's, here's my question. The right and the wrong thing. Is it a definitive faux pas? Well, I think so, because they tell us in every single video that we eat stuff raw. <laughs> well, there's a difference between somebody's personal opinion versus a collective cultural agreement. I think so. He's, I think he's correct. Then, like, for example, New York Italians, I'm one of them. When we eat spaghetti, we eat it with a fork and a spoon because we're going to twirl it. Now, if you eat spaghetti without a fork and a spoon, I'm not going to tell you you're eating it wrong. I'm just going to think to myself, too bad no. you don't know how to eat it with a fork and a spoon because I, I think that's the most efficient way to eat it and that's what Italian New Yorkers do. You go to Italy and I've heard Italians in Italy don't use the fork and spoon. That's a definitively New York thing. Well, I think that's what, I don't think he's saying right and wrong. I think he's saying if you want to be authentic Indian, this is how we do it. So in other words, if you want to be an authentic New York Italian, pick you, up the spoon and twirl your pasta. Fork is essentially what okay. he's saying. I get it. Not that... This is the only way you can eat this. No, because for me, it's always a very, I'm a big thing on like manners and what's appropriate and the right way to do something. So culturally, I wouldn't want to be at a place in any country, but especially in India, where the way I'm eating the food is not just considered wrong, but like it's culturally inappropriate. For example, 
if people were going to a, a, a formal dinner and you're, I, I always gave this example to my kids growing up of if, if you were having a dinner at the White House, would you know where to put, you not supposed to put your elbows on the I table? I would do everything wrong. What the, right now. Ask me in four years. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, if you were having a dinner, I'll use a different example. Please do. At Buckingham Palace. I don't, that's, that's almost just as bad. I don't give a shit about them either. <laughs> okay, is there any place of no. considered to be higher level? Um, Your mom's house? No. <laughs> um, oh yeah, there's not a lot of respect in that house. High five! <sighs> <laughs> if you were invited over to uh, Tom Hardy's house, and he had the table set up uh -huh, sure. with a little spoon across the top, three forks of different size to the left, two different forks on the right, and two different glasses on the right. <clears throat> Would you want to know exactly what everything was for and make sure you were doing it the right well, way? Well, one, I do. I waited for a long time. Uh, but two, what, at, a t at a place like that with that kind of... But also, no, I wouldn't care. You would Really? No, not at all. No I matter where you were, you I don't, wouldn't care if what you were doing was, was considered rude or polite. One, I think if I was doing something that would offend somebody, they would tell me. No. Two... Not, a, not in the upper echelons of society. Okay. They would look down on you and never invite you back. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I care that little about what people think. I, if the fact that I would be eating something with a wrong fork is dumb in and of itself that you have different forks for things so no that is not a scenario and there's different scenarios like if you're if you're in a different country and they're serving you something that i don't agree with like if somebody served me shark fin soup i would refuse shark fin soup even if it was offensive to do so because i will not eat that or if they're eating dog or if they're eating something well, like that yeah I, culturally I extremes that i i just i don't agree with i i would offend them not I, not be like hey you little <laughs> but I would be like, no, I'm okay. Thank well, you so I much. I agree. I don't, but I don't necessarily compare using the right fork with eating shark fin soup. Mm -hmm. I find those I find those to be grand extremes. Sometimes it's like I don't know if I'm going to use that straw or allow you to hit the baby seal over the head. <sighs> Both are equal. Straws kill turtles. So you're all turtle murderers. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what anyway. are you raising your hands for? That's different. Why is that different? Because they're my family now, and I have to deal with them for the rest wow. of my life. Not I want to know and get along with them, but I have also, to we're not talking deal about with them. Her parents. They're talking about her family, grandparents, aunts, uncles gotcha. that I'd never met before. Gotcha. So no, like, I, but I still would have done the exact same thing. I wouldn't have cared if I was having one. They're Missouri. They don't care which fork you eat with. They're Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, but like, I'm not, that doesn't equate to me. So, is it, suffice it to say that when it comes to accepted cultural norms, it doesn't matter very much to you? I will not, if I know something in, in advance, I will not purposely offend. Right. But, if I'm doing something wrong, I don't really care. <laughs> so that's that's the Corbin take on that. <laughs>